Hi folks, if you believe in freedom of speech, or if you're not a complete moron, then I fail to understand why you'd vote Le for Labour in the next election or ever again, because they're talking about, you know, putting you in prison for two years, um, if you wrongly misgender somebody. Well, you know, that's the most ridiculous thing ever. The whole hate speech thing has been a complete farce, as you've seen in the last few days, where... You know, people on the left have gone on the street screaming death to Jews, and yet you make a joke that isn't left wing, or considered left wing, and you know you, he'll be having, you know, you go, you get into trouble. I mean, there was a bloke who did his pug joke, joke with his pug, didn't he, on YouTube. He, he's been, I believe, he's been found guilty of that, and yet you've got people storming up and down. I mean, there was a woman the other day um, shouted, she was saying to a Jewish man, or she was laughing that his relatives or some people he knows might be dead, or no, a pe his people may be dead. You know, th this whole hate thing is nonsense, it hasn't. The, the people who hate seem to be the ones on the left, you know. We see Labour MPs with, I hate conservatives, or I won't kiss, um, no, what is it? I, I won't kiss Atari or something. These hate things, and... They're constantly, if you go on the Twitter or Instagram feeds, they're telling you who to hate. You have to hate white people. You have to hate rich people. You have to hate hot, posh people. You have to hate working class males. You have to hate, you know, white working class males. Constantly, and, you know, and now obviously there's quite a lot of people on the left who are storming around saying that they support Hitler and death to Jews. Well, they're not saying they support Hitler. They just support all his ideas, you know. You know, the left are... Uh, followed the like i keep pointing out you know they believe in um sign silencing people censoring people book banning um banning comedians um experiments and children come you know getting rid of the gay and lesbian community by convert you know telling them that they're not actually gay or lesbian but they're trans and to change sex um and now you know to finish it off <laughs> that the, the, they want death to you so you know what does it remind you of? It reminds you of obviously the 1930s German socialists. <coughs> what a little chith out there. So, you know, socialists never really change their spots. But, you know, the irony that they're pretending that they're the good guys, I mean, that's gone now. The, the, the You know, the left can't ever claim some sort of high morality or that they're the party or they're the people of not hating others. Of course they are. We've seen it on the streets. You know, hate, hate, hate. Frightening. I had it myself, actually. I've experienced I'm not even Jewish. Uh, um, but I had a few people that I was walking in town and three times I had abuse. Just people shouting at me because they thought I was Jewish. You know, never experienced this in my life. Um, all from lefties. Never mind. You know, this is, these are the hate people, but, you know, they'll tell you they're kind and nice. I don't believe it anymore. Well, I never did. But they prove themselves. They can never go back. They can never claim any sort of high morality. They've lost all, you know, for them now to, when I see them now talking about hate and stuff, oh, forget it. You're a joke. You've lost your credibility. You know, we can laugh at you now. You're just nothing. <laughs> Forget it. I mean, you know, like people say, I'm not conservative, but I won't vote Labour ever. Jeez, especially now. But you can imagine what's going to happen is that, you know, in fact, I'll do it. I hope they do bring this law in because I'm just going to go around and say, oh, um, everyone's misgendered me. I'll claim to be female instantly. I mean, you see, you can see what Labour do, and this is why they're a bit slimy, is that they're just jumping on any band, bandwagon. You know, they see this as the latest bandwagon to get them votes from the youth. And then next minute they'll be pretending that they are. They're not pro-trans as they aren't. So, you know, I mean, I think they've lost their votes from women. A lot of women have got any sense won't vote from because they're flip-flopping. And even if you're trans... And young, why would you vote for Labour? You can see them flip-flopping. You can see they're just using you for votes. 
you really think they care less about the trans or even women? It's flip flop, flip flop. We'll just we'll say anything to get your votes. You know, it's like they were kneeling only a few months ago, well, a year or two ago, to BLM, who now look like you know, who are supporting <laughs> Hamas. So you know, they'll pretend that that they never did that. I suspect. But you can see this flip flop. We'll say anything. These are people who just say anything to it. They'll say whatever the latest thing is to get your votes. Do you really want to vote for these people? I mean, I think all parties are rubbish. I mean, I'm not saying vote Conservative or any of the others. I think they're all terrible. But Labour, I think especially, they just, they'll just say anything for your votes. I think that's all they're interested in. They'll say what they want. And they're not on the side of people, are they? I mean, you know, when they're back in trade unions of Bungham money, to promote them, you think they're on the back of who they pushing? You know, do they care about the you know the working class people who are having to get who can't get to hospital for their urgent? You know, they might need cancer treatment or something, and then because they can't go on the trains because all these rich, well-off um, train drivers are on strike. Now, they're, of course, they're, you know, they're back in the, because. That uh, no doubt they're hoping to get a job out of it, you know, because some of them get nice jobs once they be, if they end their MP careers. Do you think they care about you? Seriously, flip flop, flip flop. We'll say anything that's trendy. That thinks we'll get votes. If you fall for it, you're a bit thick. I mean, seriously, folks. When you see them all doing whatever the latest thing is. It's not, do you really think they get less? I mean, it's like half them when they pretend to, they're interested in football. Do you really think they care less about football? They just think you're stupid and you'll f fall for it. And you probably will. We're all a bit thick. So, you know, <laughs> when you see them pretending to be interested in football because that's what they think working class people are into, or that's what they think, yeah, you know, because I don't even know Labour support. Uh, uh, well, I do. It's left-wing middle-class people, isn't it? That's who they're going for. The thickos. No one else is interested. Anyway, I just it's it's irritating. But well, you know. I I think if you vote Labour. You're pretty not too bright. You have to really question why you're voting for them. Now I know a lot of people go. Well, my parents have always voted Labour. I'm really sick, I'm really, really stupid. All our family have been stupid over the years, so we've always voted Labour because we've been told that's what you do when you're working class. Well, you know, that just says you're thick. It doesn't make you some working class hero. It just makes you sound really moronic because <laughs> I haven't seen anyone, you know, I haven't seen many Labour people who are working class, they're all middle class. Oh, fakes. Oh, it's just, ugh. No, I have no, I have no sympathy. Uh, it's just, I'm irritated. I think the whole thing's. Go I just see everything going to poo, basically. I'll be honest. I've, I'm giving up. Um, you can see why people are now thinking of leaving England, and I think they will. If Labour get in, I predict this is my little prediction, folks, that people just pack up their businesses and leave, because nobody's going to want to set up a business under Labour. I mean, you can even say now Labour councils, what they're doing to people, you know, you can't, poor people are charged to drive. And I keep pointing this out, the nonsense of it. So, you know, the town centres where you have to pay to drive in, the shops are struggling. I, I mean, they're struggling in most places because of this Labour lot. Um, but it's just not worth it because people can't drive in, so they don't get customers and... You know, they go, oh, well, you can get the bus. Well, you know, people don't want to get the bus. And even if they do, they can't fill up a car. Like, you know, so you can't, even if they do go to that shop, they're going to buy stuff they can carry. This is the nonsense of it. You know, people, you know, this sort of ideology, everyone can just jump on a bike and do the same shopping. Well, you know, a family that buys, and I've seen people go in supermarkets, they'll spend maybe a couple of hundred quid on food for the big family well they can't do that on a bike so you know that shop whatever even if they still manage to get to that shop they're only going to be spending a fiver compared to maybe the hundred a couple of hundred 
So what they'll do is actually they won't cycle into or get the bus. They'll just jump in the car and drive miles away to the biggest, sh you know, a big shopping centre where it's free. So you're using, you know, so all this nonsense these wallows come out with that it's making the air clean. It's not. It's creating more pollution because people having to drive further to shop. So people are using more fuel. And again, I mean, I don't see, you know, I mean, I'd imagine the air quality in Wales must be getting terrible because if people are driving 20 miles an hour, those roads are going to be slow and, oh, I'd hate to live in Wales. I mean, if you're concerned about your health, I don't think I'd be in Wales now. Ooh, must be awful. I mean, you think all them kids, you know... The reality, what they expect, are going to save in lives I didn't, from not being run over. I'd imagine will be higher in lung problems. So you're going to face. Um, so I'd imagine more children will actually die through lung problems from the pollution of these cars going 20 miles an hour. <laughs> what you're going to save, and I doubt if it's going to save many lives, to be honest. Um, but anyway, I mean it's Wales. I don't live Wales, thankfully. Um, you know, I mean, <laughs> sounds like a place to avoid these days. Uh, I wouldn't go there. I mean, it's like a lot of these labor areas. I mean, you, know, you you don't go, you know, you can't go to a lot of places now because of these air zones, because I don't know how to pay and all this and what websites to go and see so avoid. So all these places start suffering. Anyway, I'm going off track. Just pointing out, why would you vote Labour unless you're pretty... Well, I can understand left-wing middle-class people because they don't care about other people. And when you don't care about other people, you just care about yourself. And you think that everyone can perform their lives the same as you. So just because you work from home and you cycle to the local shop because, you know, you've got some non-job where, you know, some company's paying you a fortune just to do basically nothing worth spit and you can afford to shop at the most expensive places because and you smugly think everyone else can well they can't because in your mind you think um a woman who works in a care home um can go to the care home at 2 a.m in the morning on the bus which aren't running or you perhaps want buses running non-stop empty kicking out fumes because in your fantasy they don't, you know, they run on fresh air. They don't use, a, you know, vast amounts of diesel or fuel or whatever. It's just, you know, you just realise a lot of people on the left aren't very bright. It usually it actually is the best. If you want to tell people you're thick, you just say, I'm left wing or I'm a socialist. Because, you know, because they've got a fantasy idea that they can just tax people and everyone will stay. No, they won't. They'll just leave. That's all that's going to happen. Labour getting, people with any amount of money will leave. They'll just sell up and move. They won't bother. They're not going to work hard to know they're going to end up paying more tax. Life's too short for that. They'll just go tech with it. They don't want to end up like America, do they? Where, you know, people are... I mean... Where there's, everyone's on drugs and stuff and the place are just sh shutting down. I mean, we're getting that here with Labour areas. I mean, you know, we, we see the disaster, you know, Labour areas being in, such as London with the Air Zone and Sheffield and other places. And, you know, um, you know Wales with the 20 miles now. And people still are thick enough to think, oh, we're going to vote Labour. Well, no. Why would you vote Labour? I mean, surely, you know... I mean, it just shows you how thick people are. Oh, I'm not very clever. Uh, I know they've been making a mess of everywhere, but it'll be different if I vote for them because I'm a bit stupid. Uh, but I've, done, I've done a media degree at uni. Uh, I'm really thick. Uh. Oh, good grief. Anyway, folks... That's just my take on it. Bye.